Hey YouTube, um, welcome to a short video tutorial on the uh, about the command prompt. Uh, basically, what a command prompt is is that it lets you interact with the computer by um, typing in different commands. I mean, there are loads of them. I mean, honestly, there are loads. So for the first command, I'll just do simple, simple, basic stuff. Um, type in the help, which gives you all the uh, commands what you can uh, use basically for example uh, let's see uh, the simple command directory that just displays all the files and folders what's in your C drive so let's just do that and there you go that <coughs> files this is another folder this indicates there's another folder or directory whatever you want to call it uh, stuff like that. If you want like specific help, like you don't want to keep typing in the help command or something, then you just type the chosen command you want help with uh, forward slash question mark and it will give you a set of options what you can use with the directory command or any other command. Um, CLS, clear the screen. Um, that's another one. Uh, task list task list displays all the tasks what are currently running on your machine so quite a lot, quite a few it shows well, it shows uh, how much memory it's using, sessions, blah blah blah, session name services, console, like in a command prompt, but those like you can't see those running basically so there you go and let's just study the uh, options for it and as you can see again just an example I've given it a parameter just to ask for specific help on this one command <clears throat> okay so um, another thing is we can uh, another command could be a driver query these are all the the, um, the drivers on your machine Again, driver type, kernel, file system, whatever. These uh, drivers on the uh, which are part of the kernel, the operating system, what does things. You should know what that. You should really know what that is all about. Whatever. I'm not going to go into detail of what. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, another thing you can do is uh, I I'm not sure if you've heard about batch files. I mean, there are loads of videos on YouTube about batch files but most of them are just a bit stupid really because there's people thinking they can <clears throat> create viruses with a batch file which is I mean okay I admit batch files can be dangerous if used inappropriately but so can commands um, so another thing you can um, execute programs from a like notepad from a command line and uh, anyway let's just make a simple batch file, switch the echo off, echo basically what echo does it prints out a string of text like so, um, echo, I'll show you a quick example, uh, pause, pause means you know just prompts the user to press any particular key to continue and now we'll uh, put in a command like directory pause uh, task list and uh, yeah that's about it. Uh, batch. I'll just call it batch. I'm so because I'm so original, you see. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, so change directory. CD means change directory, by the way. Uh, okay, so we're in the desktop. Batch dot bat. Basically, you know, always if you're making a batch file, always end it in dot bat. Hello, press in key to continue, directory, <clears throat> again press any key to continue, and the task list. You can do virtually anything with a batch file. You can make your computer run specific tasks at different times of the day if you choose to, like, say you want to, uh, I don't know, you want to start a specific program at, say, like 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. or do a virus check or whatever. Yeah, it would do it. Um, other 
to change back to C, uh, the C drive, just type in CD and backslash, and you'll go there. You can also change to other uh, directories on your computer. Like, for example, I've got a flash drive in, a USB flash drive at the moment. I can, and if you type in the name of the uh, drive with a semicolon, it will take you right there, and it's different, you know, bigger directories, whatever, more files. That's simple, and if you want to change back to C drive or whatever, just do that with a semicolon. Um, what else? Ah, here's a, an interesting one is can be uh, date. If you want to display the date, there you go, and it will prompt you to uh, enter a new date if you so wish to. But if not, just uh, exit with a pressing enter or whatever. Um, there are many, many different things you can shut down your computer through a command line. So let's study shut down. If you, for example, if uh, say you accidentally shut down your computer or something while you're it's about to shut down or something, if it's like slow, you've got time, you can uh, abort a system shutdown, which is handy if you really like just whatever. You can you can use these types of commands in the a batch file and things. Again, I've seen so many videos like virus <laughs> batch files that makes me laugh really. I mean, they can be dangerous, I admit, if used inappropriately. Because you could, uh, for example, the delete command, which is, uh, let me find it here. Um, for example, delete system32 or something, or the C drive or whatever, you've got important files on there. You won't be able to get them back because they won't be in the recycling bin once you've deleted something from a batch file or directly from the uh, command line itself. You won't be able to get it back because usually, if you uh, <coughs> study the GUI interface and you delete something by right clicking, delete, whatever, it will be in your recycling bin. But again, from a command prompt, you delete something. You're not going to see that in a command in a recycling bin. So uh, I hope that was some use to you. I know this is my first uh, video tutorial on anything really, and it sucked. I think yeah, it probably did suck. But pff, there you go. Um, if you like this, comment, rate, whatever, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.